And I want to thank everyone here just because it's, it's a really uh, big joy and sort of excitement for us to be here to witness the love and support that there is in this room for the priesthood, for formation programs like, like we have here at SJB. Um, I study here for the Diocese of Des Moines in Iowa. Um, and my vocation story is a pretty standard one. It's not too, not super exciting, but um, I grew up in a pretty standard Catholic family. My parents worked hard to uh, teach us the catechism, make time for prayer, uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, and as a kid, me and my brother used to, you know, we'd play mass with Nilla wafers and orange juice and that, all that kind of stuff. So naturally, I was kind of chosen out, oh, you're, you're going to be the one who's going to be a priest, Stan, you know, you're, you're going to be a priest. But especially, um, you know, eighth and ninth grade, I really, I really didn't feel that, if that makes sense. You know, even though I had kind of, people had said that, it wasn't really there. In fact, um, my passion was more for coding. I wanted to be a computer programmer. I spent all my free time, you know, writing little tools or games and things like that. Things like that. Um, <clears throat> but as I entered high school, I spent more time in prayer. And not just kind of the rote prayer that I had sort of grown up with, but really asking God, you know, asking him about things, about my life, um, and really waiting to actually receive a response from him, you know. Um, and as that went on, my desire for uh, a career in computer science or that kind of thing sort of shrunk and shrunk. And a desire for the priesthood sort of grew more and more. Um, and as I started to go to adoration more, pray more, read, read books about the priesthood and, and talk to priests I knew, um, that desire really became uh, a really deep part of me. And, and, and I had to say, no, these plans I had for uh, maybe a career, which is maybe more of a safe bet, you know, uh, those have to go. Those have to go away. I have to, um, I have to pursue this. And it, it was kind of scary. It's not a real certain thing, you know. I, I had a lot of uh, fear, really, you know. It's like, does God really want me to do this? You know, what if I'm not called to be a priest? Um, so I, I did it. I applied to St. John Vianney. I was accepted in 2018. Um, and I really didn't understand what I was getting into, actually. Uh, if I'm being honest, I can't really say that I've never looked back because the formation program here is not, it's not easy. It's not just a, a breeze. Um, and, you know, we, we wish oftentimes that we could avoid facing our fears and weaknesses and just sort of run away, avoid those. Um, but giving your life over completely to somebody is not meant to be easy. It's, it's hard for priests. It's hard for married people. Commitment is, takes, takes effort, um, and it takes God's grace. Um, and the world we live in today, it, it's sort of hard. There, the flame of vocation that you have, that, um, that peace that Jesus gives us, as Father Kelly mentioned, it, it's easy to be blown out by distractions. There's, there's temptations to despair um, and all that. Uh, but SJV, for me, that's sort of what it's been, an environment that fosters that, that flame of vocation, that desire, um, to give myself over completely to God as his priest. When things aren't easy, I can walk in any room over there at SJV and have a deep, authentic conversation with any of my brothers and be open and share our, our struggles and our joys um, and receive support in that way. Um, when things aren't clear in my spiritual life, there's really great spiritual directors. There's outstanding Catholic counseling at SJV. Uh, and most importantly, a chapel where we have access to our Lord Jesus Christ 24-7. Um, now, I'm uh, planning to go to St. Paul Seminary. I'm applying right now, so I won't actually get to enjoy the new chapel, which we're going to receive, which is too bad, but I'll be close by. Um, and... Yeah, I, I just want to end in, in thanksgiving again. Father Kelly, thank you so much for all the work you've done. Uh, I want to thank all the formators I've had, Father Kowarski, Father Carney. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a really good four years. And I really also want to thank everyone in this room. It's, it's humbling. It's a great privilege to be able to be at such a great program here. Um, and it's only possible through um, the support that we receive. So thank you very much. Praise be Jesus Christ.